Ukraine's interior minister and 16 others died in a deadly helicopter crash in a Kyiv suburb on Wednesday. According to Chief of Ukraine's National Police, Interior Minister Denis Manastaevsky, his deputy Yevhen Yenin and State Secretary of the Ministry of Internal Affairs Yuri Lubkovich were among those killed in the crash. There was no immediate word on whether the crash was an accident or a result of the almost 11-month war with Russia. Major drama took place in the Delhi Assembly on 18 January 2023 as four BJP MLAs were ordered to be marshaled out of the House. The rest of the BJP MLAs boycotted the proceedings in protest. The BJP legislators were protesting against the Aam Admi Party government in the House over the issue of pollution in Yamuna River. The MLAs gave the Speaker two bottles filled with Yamuna water and sought a debate. On 16 January, the Delhi LG's office had said that according to the Pollution Control Committee's DPCC data, Yamuna River pollution has doubled in the last eight years under the Arvind Kejriwal government. Yet another case of a hit-and-run case causing the victim's death has shocked the national capital. Two research students at the Indian Institute of Technology IIT, were allegedly hit by a speeding car on the night on 17 January 2023. 30-year-old Ashraf Nawaz Khan died while M. Shukla suffered a fracture. The car was found abandoned near the accident site. Police said that the driver has been identified and a search is underway. Twitter has confirmed that it intentionally blocked access to third-party clients. Recently, users of third-party Twitter clients like Tweetbot were unable to log into their accounts. In a tweet, the official Twitter developer account said that the website was enforcing its long-standing API rules. However, no further elaboration was provided. As of now, some third-party Twitter clients continue to work while others are blocked. Developers of these apps claim that they do not have much clarity from Twitter on this matter.